Today we're creating the use window size custom hook because we'd like to make sure we always have access to our window inner height and inner width properties when they change. To do this, we'll tap into the Windows on resize event listener. So to start creating our hook, we will create a new function called use window size. We will need to maintain the window's inner height and inner width in some sort of stateful information. So we will pull in our state hook. So size and set size will equal use state. And in our state, we can do this as a two elements array. We can start our default value as window dot inner height and window dot inner width. Great. So we have this information and we can return our size. And uh, just so we're kind of aware of how we're gonna pull this into our actual app, we can uh, start using it here. So we can say that uh, const, and since we know this is a two element array, we can say height and width equals use window size. And yeah, that should work. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting it into my app here. Uh, we'll say height there and width here. And in fact, I'm going to just start up my app by saying yarn start. And great, so I have my app here, but if I resize the window, of course, nothing is is sort of watching the window. There's no resize event listening, so nothing's going on here. Drag that away and uh, we can continue working. So how are we going to listen for changes to the window size? Well, what we can do is we can say that we want to add an event listener to our Windows uh, resize event, but we only want to do that the first time that this hook is loaded. So we can use use effect to do that. We can do an, uh, an effect hook and importantly, we pass an empty dependency array here saying, yeah, we don't want to run this on every time that the, uh, that the app re-renders. We just want to use it on the initial render. So within this effect, we can say that we want to add a, uh, an event listener to our window to resize. And what's our event listener going to be? Well, we can create a function. So let's say handle resize is going to be a function. And that function will basically, whenever there's a resize, we are going to set size. And the size is going to be window.inner height and window.inner width. And yeah, so essentially we are sort of redoing what we did initially here, but we're going to do it on every resize. And then with our event listener, we will pass it handle resize as the event listener. And that's actually going to be pretty good to go. Um, and so we can go ahead and load up our app again. And I'll just drag it out here. And if I start moving, yeah, this is fantastic. We now see that if I resize the window, the height and the width are updating. That's great. Uh, the one thing we need to do though is whenever we have a use effect hook, we want to be cognizant that we want to add a cleanup function that cleans up any sort of uh, behavior that we need to clean up that we would want to clean up on unmount. And the one thing that we would definitely want to do here is remove our event listener. So from this effect, we will return a cleanup function and we will just say window dot remove event listener and we will remove the resize event listener and we'll remove handle uh, resize from that event listener. Now if we go back to our application we can see that our resize is being tracked and our custom hook is working and we can be comfortable that we are removing this event listener when the component unmounts.